you welcome to this podcast. I want you to know that God is in the business of dwelling in people because even the Bible have declared because God has that intention in mind and it has been written in the scriptures that we are the temple of the Lord. There is no way that you can survive in this kingdom of Christ when you do not have the understanding that the Holy Spirit dwelling in you is your advantage. You don't need to look for any external factor or any other reality outside you to know that you're empowered by God. The moment you receive the life of Christ, the moment you've experienced the life of Christ, you, you are transformed into the renewing experience of life, coming to a place where everything about your life becomes what resonates within you, understanding that there is a capacity and there is a power that dwells in you that has nothing to do with your education and your background, but is an importation of the nature of God from the divinity into the human realm within you. That is what you must understand. Thank God for the olive oil that we use to pray. Thank God for the mantles, but I want you to understand that there is a power that is beyond any material things and substances, and that is the power of the Holy Ghost, because even God testified of it, and Paul even declared it, that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ever ask or think, but according to the power that worketh in you. Oh, believers, I want you to rise up and wake up to the reality of the Holy Spirit that dwells within you. I want you to wake up and understand that within you is a power that is greater than any other force and even greater than the Lucifer himself. I want you to know that this power that is at work in you is the same power that quickens Jesus from the grave. Because even the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 11, Romans 8, 11, yes. If the spirit of him that rose Christ from the dead dwells in you, that same spirit that rose him from the dead will vitalize your mortal body. <laughs> You must understand there is a power at work in you. This is the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the power of God. The resurrecting power of Christ. I want you to rise up today to know that of a truth There is something in you that you have not yet discovered. If a wish and a wizard can depend on the power that is within them, given to them by demons, how come are you not confident of the power of Christ that resonates within you? How come? You are not ordinary. You are not just a being. You are not just a believer. You are not just born again. There is a life of Christ in you. And that is why Jesus said in the book of John 10, 10, he said, the devil comes but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I came to give you life and life in abundance. And that life resonates within you. He is the Holy Spirit. 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 The power that is at work in you is deeper and bigger than any other thing that you can ever think of. I want you to know The Holy Spirit dwells in you. 
You don't need to be afraid of what people can do to you. You don't need to be afraid of what demons can do because there is a power within you that supersedes anything. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit that comes out of the Father. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of the Scriptures. The Holy Spirit dwells in you as the knowledge of the Scripture dwells in you. The intaking of Scriptures into your spirit, man, is the same intaking of the Holy Spirit because where the Scripture is, that is where the Holy Spirit dwells because the Holy Spirit cannot operate and cannot move in a direction where the Scriptures does not abide in. And Jesus said that I will send you the Spirit of Truth. And Jesus is the Truth. And the truth is the word of God. There is no other way forward than this. I need you to embrace the Holy Spirit. I need you to embrace the culture of the kingdom, which is the reality of the studying of the word of God. Beloved of God, I beseech you to study the Word of God, to understand the plans and the principles and the ordinations of God for your life. Because in the studying of the Word comes the understanding. Comes the understanding of God's life. If you don't know Him and you don't know His plans, nothing will work. Nothing will work. You are welcome to this reality of life. Oh, yes. He dwells in you. And even as you are hearing the sound of my voice, He dwells in you. If you have received Jesus, He dwells in you. He has been waiting. Waiting for you to have a relationship with Him. The Holy Spirit is not a trophy. It's the empowerment of God Himself. It is, he is the technology of God that helps you to know that searches the deep things of God. That is who he is. That is who he is. The Holy Spirit wants to have a relationship with you. But you see, the relationship you can have with the Holy Spirit must be in line with the plans and the purpose of God. God cannot Allow His Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, to have a relationship with you over what is outside His interest and will. God will never do that. God will never do that. So if you are ready to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, then you must be ready to study the Word of God in the direction of His interest and His plans. The moment you've received the life of Christ, you must abide in that life of Christ. There is no other two ways about it. It is time. It is time. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But he is progressive in his operations. Will you arise today? Stop settling for less. You are the one that determines how far, how deep, how wide you can go in the knowledge of Christ and in the depth of the mystery of the kingdom. You are the only one 
that can determine that. You are the only one that can determine that. Because the word of the Lord says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For they shall be filled. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness, for they shall be filled. So, the extent by which the Holy Spirit can dwell in you is determined by the extent of your hunger and your availability and the attention that you pay to the scriptures to understand the counsel and the mind of God. There is no way forward than this. So I want to ask you a question. Are you hungry for Christ? Are you hungry for the knowledge of the word? Are you hungry for the knowledge of truth? Are you hungry to understand the dimensions of divinity? Are you ready and hungry to understand your callings and your assignment in the body of Christ? Are you ready to have a relationship with him? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Now is the time. Now is the season for you to embrace the life of Christ. Now is the time. Now is the season for you to embrace the life of Christ. I welcome you today if you have not genuinely received the life of Christ. And if you have received the life of Christ and you have not paid attention to the indwelling of the Holy Spirit within you, then it is time for you to wake up. There is a spirit that dwells within you. And the spirit is the spirit of Christ. He is the Holy Spirit. The moment you believe, He's activated in you already. Even right now. Thank you for listening. And I don't just want you to just let your moods and your emotions carry you away, but this is actually a wake up call that you can only apply and practice by faith. Yes, by faith. Thank you so much. I celebrate you.